Hey, what if I told you that you can get unlimited, high quality, and diverse model photos for free? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, not anymore. In this video, I'm going to show you a website that uses artificial intelligence to create realistic and unique human faces and bodies that you can use for your projects. Whether you need photos for design, marketing, research, or machine learning, this website has got you covered. The website is called Generated Photos, and it's amazing. Let me show you how it works and why you should try it out. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. Tap on the link under this video, under the description of this video, or the first link under the comment section of this video when you tap on the link it's going to take you to this interface when you come to the interface like this you are going to see a sign in button here just click on the sign in button for this you can provide your email account and your password that's if you already have an account but you can also create an account using the create account option or you can sign in using your google account your apple account or your github account so i'm done signing in now you can see my account is over here okay so what you are going to do now we have um, other options on this website but what we are going to be talking about is the humans just click on humans with, with this place that you see new here you see human uh, generator that is what we are going to use so i'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to another interface like this here you can see it is written turn um, god mode on meet human generator create hyper realistic full body photos of people in real time so you can see this is the kind of thing that we are going after all right so now what we do now is to click on the create human here which you can see it is free when you do that it's going to take you to your workspace initially at default you are going to see this okay so pay attention now and let me explain to you how to use this website to create anything that you like on our left hand here you can see we have human generator under here we have describe post upload upload phase i'm going to tell you how each of these thing works then if you see over here we have new you can create from scratch you can create from template okay i'm going to tell you how to use all that then under here this is a description we have randomized then reset this description is describing this image that you see here so if you should go down here you have a negative prompt then here you can select your gender either female male or non-binary you can clear the gender here then here we have our age you can see it is written child here which is why this image is like a child then if you if you scroll down we can you see we have skin tone you can set all this i'm going to tell you how to set all that in this video then under here we have post we have upload face i'm going to tell you how to use all that then if you go over here we have a um, human template i'll also tell you how you can do that then here we have a, a priority generation we have at first you are going to have 1000 priority generation so, so when you keep on creating it's going to um, drop down now let me show you how to um, generate your own image of any image of your choice to do that simply go over to this place here we we'll upload our face first so that we can generate that here you can click on the upload face here to upload any file that you like so i'm going to click on that and here i'm going to select any file from my device for this i'm going to just use this um ronaldo image this video is for educational purpose only i'm going to tap on that and it will keep loading here then when it's done loading your image will appear here i already have my image here so you can see the image has been added here you can see the maximum file size is 5 mb so make sure any image you're uploading is not more than 5 mb so i'll select the image then click on the update human here which i'll do that then it's going to generate here okay so you can see what the ai is doing is trying to match the face to um the face of this other image that we have yeah if you are satisfied with this you can simply click on the download button and download that but let me show you how to change other settings here so under here we have our description so this is the description that provides this image we have child make uh, Caucasian we have athletic body sweater white leg so I'm going to um, show you how to edit all this now then if you should scroll down we can see we have negative prompt 
This neg negative prompt means you use this feed to describe what you don't want to see in the generated images. So let's say here we have a white shirt. For this, if I don't want to see a white, sh white um, shirt in my image, I can just write here um, no white shirt. So when I write no white shirt, I'm going to click on update human and see what will happen now. So now you can see the outcome because I said no white shirt, which that is how to use your negative prompt. What you don't want to see in your generated image. So now let's scroll down. You can choose either a female or a male, but the image face I'm using is a male. So that's why I have to leave this at male. So I'm going to go down here, age. Um, let's match this to the age of the image face which I'm using. So here the age, I'm going to click, you can use this slider. So if I click this point, it changes to teenager. So I'm going to use young adult because Ronaldo is um, young adult. So that's what I'm going to use. Do not select, uh, you can choose adult, you can choose young adult as the case may be. For this, let me use the young adult. Then if you scroll, um, go down here, you can see we have skin tone. You can um, click on the drop down arrow here. Here you see uh, pitch. Can see rosy, you can see white natural golden and all this. So I'm not going to set a skin tone there, but if you that's what you want for your own image, you can practice with that. Then ethnicity for this, I'm going to use um, um Portuguese um because Ronaldo is a um Portuguese man, so I'm going to scroll down and look for that here. So you can um find any nationality that you want here. So I'm going to select that. Then let's go down. You can see body type. For this, let's make use of average, okay? Then um, under clothing, you, this is how you do your setting. Under clothing, for this clothing, um, I'm going to make use of, um, I'm going to make use of former. Under clothing, let me select former. Then um, clothing color, for this, let's make use of black. Okay, then clothing top for this top. I'm going to make use of hoodie, so I'm going to select that. Then clothing bottom legs for this, I'm going to use um, trousers, so I'm going to select trousers. Then under, under clothing underwear, I'm not going to set anything there, not set. Then clothing outerwear, I'm going to select not set also. So clothing top, trousers, clothing top, I'm not going to set that. Then clothing out, outerwear, I'm going to clear that, which is not set. Make sure it's cleared. Then footwear, I'm going to leave it as sneakers. Then accessory, under here, you can select any accessory that you want to see in your image. You can select um, heart, belt, scarf, neck, uh, necklace, earrings. So for this, let's make use of glasses. So I want to get um, sunglasses for this. So here I'm going to select the sunglasses. Then under background, this is where you set a background for um, your image. But for this, let me not talk about the background. Let's update our um, human um, image first before I'll talk about the background. So I'm going to, when you're done setting those stuff, then you click on the update button here. And let's see how, what will come out. Here from our settings, you can see what we have gotten now. So. Um, we have gotten this image. You can see the image, um, the same resemblance with our faces, our face that we uploaded. Okay. Now let's scroll down and um, change something in this image. So to change the background that you see here, this is what you are going to do. Go to your settings again. Under here, you can see we have um, we have um, background. So to change your background, you can simply click on this drop down arrow. So here you can select um, any background you, you like, maybe a white wall, a studio back, backdrop, a brick wall or concrete wall, anything that you want to use. So for this, let me make use of, um, so for this, let me make use of a studio backdrop or, okay, a studio backdrop. Then you can click on the human, um, you can update human and it's going to update that. We are not going to update that yet. So here, let's change our hairstyle. To change that, click on this drop down arrow. You can see we have a long hair, medium hair, short hair. Any kind of hairstyle that you want to make use of, you can simply do that here. Okay, you can do that. 
there you can select the hairstyle then if you go here you can um, change the hair color maybe you want a black hair um, brown or, or any type of hair color that you want you can select that so let's change our hairstyle here so this is the um, initial hairstyle so for this let's make use of um, afro hair so let's make it of that then um, let's update human before we change our hair color so i'm going to click on the update human and see the outcome before i will show you how to change the hair color so you can see what we got now so it updated the hair color but it also updates the clothes that we have so for you to avoid updating um this one after the other what you can do is to do your settings do all your settings at the same time before you click on the update remember as your updating is taking away um your your priority generations from here so here let's change our hair color so for this let's make use of this hair color or let's make use of white so we are going to update our human and see the outcome of the hair color so now you see how to change your hair color we selected white and our hair color changes to white so that is how you do that okay so now let me show you how to use the post option here so i'm going to go over to post so here you can upload a file you can upload a, a mimic a file that you want to use then here you can see we have um, templates here we have gallery under gallery under this um, option you can click on this drop down arrow and we have um, um, we have child infant teenager and adult for this let's click on adult and see the poses poses that we have for adult so these are different poses that we have for adult then you can select either a male or a female pose if i select female you can see the pose that we have for female then for the image I'm using to um, show you how to use this website is May. So I'm going to select May. So um, from this option, let's make use of, let's select a pose and um, demonstrate how to use this pose. So for this, let me make, yes, select this pose and let's see the outcome or this, let's select this and see the outcome. Then when you select your pose already, you click on the update human here. Um, after this, I'm going to show you how to update, upload an image and mimic that the post from an image that you are uploading. So let's update our human and see the outcome of our image. Okay guys, so you can see the post that we selected which was this one and this is how it comes out. So this is, if you are satisfied with this, you can click on the download button and anytime you are satisfied, you can click on your download button and download it. Do not go anywhere as I'm going to show you how to use the human template you can see if you click on templates you can see several templates that we have here i'm going to show you how to use that template later in this video so for you not to miss out that you are going to watch this video to the end then over here you can upload a post you can see i uploaded an image already you can click on the upload button here and upload an image then mimic the post of that image the and use that for your um, image okay all right then here i've already talked about how to upload your face and that's that then you can download your image so now let's talk about how to use the human templates to use any human template on this website simply click on the human templates here so over here you can filter you can filter down your search then here we have style we have gender here under style we have or you can see um this is on or you can um um click on cosplay and filter that you can click on corporate barbie and all that then under gender we have all this is all gender is on all gender now we can select female choose on a female gender select me choose on a uh, male gender non-binary you can select adapt any of them and choose that so for this let's just click on corporate and we see te templates under corporate so you can see several good templates that you can use under corporate so here any templates any um, human character that you like from here let's say any post that you like from here you can choose from for this video if you scroll down here you can see we have several templates that you can actually use for free okay so for this video let me make use of um, this particular template so i'm going to click on this template and it's going to load and appear here so this template has appeared here so what i can do is this you can go over to you can now go over to your the faces you have uploaded then select any of these faces so let's say i'm going to use this face when you select the face you click on the update human 
So I'm going to click on that and let's see the generated image. So you can see the difference now. So this um this face has been updated on the template, the human template here. And when you are satisfied like this, you click on the download button. If you are not satisfied, you can go to describe. You can go to describe, then go down here, set the background. You can change the background, or you can also change the hair color. Anything you like, you can change from here. So this is how you use the human template template if you don't like what is showing here you can use the prompt here you can actually create from a prompt you can use the prompt here and change what you are seeing here so um you have, we have a lot of templates that you can actually use here so let me show you again how to use another template from the human template that we have here so let's say this lady i'm going to select the lady and the lady's image is going to appear like this so let me change i want to change um the face on this image what we'll do is go go to upload face i already have an image i've uploaded here i'm going to select that image then i'm going to click on the update human and let's see the outcome of this so you can see the difference the um, image has been uploaded updated on this and you can download this and use it on your social media <laughs> handle or anywhere you want to use it on so you click on the download button and you can download that so that is how to um, use the human template it is very handy if do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel because i'll be doing more videos on this website so for you not to miss out you have to like this video subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so that you stay updated on my upcoming videos thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video